Hello there, and welcome to another Dark Souls 3 boss tutorial. Today's boss is the Curse Rotted Great Wood. Now, in preparation for this fight, you're going to want to get one to two charcoal pine resins. Now, if you haven't found any, or you've used them all up to this point, don't you worry. In the area where the man shoots them big arrows at you, there's an item called the Maiden's Ashes. If you get the Maiden's Ashes and bring it to the nice old lady in the Firelink Shrine, she'll start to sell you them charcoal pine resins for 500 souls apiece. The reason for the charcoal pine is that we want to burn down this Wampin' Willow wannabe just about as quick as we can. As you enter the room, you're going to see all kind of fellas out here praying to the tree for some reason. Go ahead and start picking them off one at a time. The fight's not going to start until you've killed three or four of them fellas. Once you see the health bar pop up, go ahead and throw that charcoal pine resin on your sword. Pop it in your two hands and run directly towards the big tumor on his stomach. Do as much damage to it as you can. And if you take damage like I did here, don't you worry about it. Just get right back up and go back to that tumor because we don't want phase one to last too long. Those fellas do not stop spawning and the big tree, he does a lot of damage. After you triggered the phase change, go ahead and break the tumor right there on his leg. This will do some extra damage. As you're falling, get ready to run right back towards him because there's going to be an opportunity to break another tumor before he can even hit you. You'll see the little arm pop out and you can break that tumor right there, but then you got to run away from that nasty little arm because it's dangerous. At this point, as long as you don't get too close to him or too far from him and you stay from that nasty little arm, you're going to be alright. You can break the tumors on his feet, then just kindly walk around looking for opportunities to break tumors. He's got them on his feet, his knees, his back, all sort of places. You can actually do damage to that nasty little arm, and I've tried to demonstrate that here, but all I succeeded in demonstrating was that it's dangerous and it will hit you. If you like to do as I've done and put another charcoal pine resin on your weapon, that'll help you break tumors faster. He's got a big one on his back, so I circle around and hit the tumor on his back. As you do that, it's likely going to trigger him to roll towards you. Be prepared for this and roll out of the way. It takes him a little while to get back up, and this is good. This will reveal a tumor that's higher up on the branches of his legs that you can break, as well as give you access to that upper tumor on his back as he's getting back up. Putting a fire on your weapon will allow you to break these the first time you can hit him, as opposed to the second or third. After you kill the curse rotted great wood, you're going to get 7,000 souls, as well as the transposing kiln, and you can continue on with your adventure. Thanks for watching today's video. Please subscribe and share these with your friends if you like them.